All right, kids, we are back. So today we are going to be moving cows, and it actually looks like they might be doing it already, which would be awesome. Um, we are going to be moving cows over to the summer pasture today. Um, I've been waiting for this for a little while. We had some medical stuff we needed to clear up. Um, so it's a lot easier to deal with them in the winter paddock than it is to try and get them off the summer paddock when it's stuff like that. Um, that guy needed to be castrated, so we got him banded. And Nub's over there, the Holstein cross with um, the horns. He had a little bit of a dry cough. I think it was an issue with uh, feed or something like that, but we got him dosed up, got him dewormed, all the regular normal stuff. Um, so what I am going to do is, I am hoping this is gonna be a quick video, but I also know how cows work. So there's a good chance that it won't be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys all set up. And um, once we get them in, we'll do a walk around the pasture, kind of show you what that is looking like and what's been going on around here. Cause we have moved a decent amount of critters around since our last farm video. Poor Fred over there is already missing his nuts, but happens. So yeah, we're gonna get you set up and we're gonna get going. a family affair <laughs> all right so we are back so for all intents and purposes that was actually went pretty well um my wife came in at the end luckily she was there to give me a hand with getting them corralled so we've got her horse back here in the winter paddock who's trying to escape out the front door but he will not um so yeah he'll spend the rest of the summer in here um again with our fun little hospice horse i want the cows on the nice green grass because we're gonna eat them so we will go ahead we'll walk out there we'll give you a little walk around the pasture because um, i haven't done that one yet so all right So moving these guys is actually fairly easy with the setup I did. Both of these gates open opposite of each other. So it makes a pretty easy lane um, to secure up. Usually I'll just put a T-post in and put another gate on this side because that one is not long enough. Go ahead and lock us in so nothing gets out. All right. And everyone's excited about the grain bucket I left out. So, we'll go ahead and toss that over here. So, everybody's over here. They've done a little bit of walking around already. Um, 
again, this is definitely our most fertile pasture that we got. And I have expanded it quite a bit. You can see the line in the grass where the old pasture was where the horse had pretty much mowed down most of it. Um, I do want to say that is not how I put hay in hay feeders. Um, we're starting to get hay from a new person and this was a little bit of a busted bale that came in here before the hay ring did. So I'll probably end up coming out here with a pitchfork and kind of tossing everything back into the bale feeder just because I don't want them walking through it and shitting on it like this and wasting it. Um, you can kind of see Fred is banded. So he'll lose, he'll lose feeling in that and he probably already has. So he'll probably definitely lose feeling it in a couple hours. Um, so for a reminder, this is the beginning of the pig pasture we just did a video on. Um, and now everybody's starting to get in the nice green grass. This is the first green grass they've really been on this season. Um, that winter pasture doesn't grow much and whatever does grow gets eaten up pretty quick. Um, it's nice to see everybody running around. No one's really gotten the zoomies yet, but I have a feeling once they figure out it's all opened up, they really will. Um, this pasture back here we made last year and already with just having cows on it for one season, it has come in amazingly. Um, so right after we did the pig fence, I came out here and uh, redid all of the, ins most of the insulators. Um, I can actually show you better this time on the last video where I was doing the pig fencing, I was talking about how some of these break over time. So, as you can see, this one is a good one. That one is a bad one. So if they're not moving, I don't really deal with them. It's only when the fence loses its tautness that uh, you got to deal with them slipping off and stuff like that. When the fence is as tight as it is, it usually doesn't move. But like I said, we had this pen off um, over the winter just because I knew it was going to get grounded out with all the snow. So I wanted to have as much um, juice going to the pens that we did have going um, for the winter. Somebody fell and hurt themselves, sounds like. Um, but so for perspective, that is the size of this pasture. It is a really good sized pasture. I love seeing them out here um, over the summer. Uh, last year when we had cows in here, like I said, this was split into two different paddocks and we had five, four adult cows and one calf and they kept this thing mowed. And I was still going through 10 square bales every five days. Um, I am hoping with the smaller number of cows and at the age they're at that we'll be able to they'll be able to cycle through um, these pens a lot better they won't be putting them down to bare nothing they'll be able to actually have some growth come back in um, this back corner we got a burn pit out here we had a couple trees fall uh, probably about a year or two now I need to come back and tear all these down and uh, cut them up but this is actually we've had we have family and friends camp back here or you know a husband and wife that are traveling the country doing odd jobs if they ever wanted to come up here and camp just throwing it out there i know it's a very specific very 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 specific thing but just throwing it out there <laughs> um but yeah we kept a nice little road little mode road, road down this side it usually just grow up very much um it's fairly mossy in this back corner but and then this, I do love how this field, if you are looking from the road, you can only see about a quarter to half of this field just because of the way the hills are laid out. Our plan at some point is 
to fence in that pat that section over there around the apple tree. He's gonna play a little closer because of the wind. Looks like probably got a storm coming in. Um, but yeah, plenty of plans, <laughs> not a lot of time and money. So we'll get there and you guys will be here for most of it, hopefully. Um, we're up to 161 subscribers last time I checked, which is freaking awesome. I appreciate you guys watching every week, commenting, liking, subscribing. Um, we do have another little camping area over here. Uh, let's get that end of that table. There's a little fire pit. Um, I've got a buddy who travels the country with his girlfriend, and they usually come up here and spend about a week or two. They have an overlanding set up in their um, truck, so they come up and stay up here for a little while. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just super happy to get these guys into the summer paddock. A lot less for me to worry about. Um, and like I said, they're getting nice, fresh green grass. Um, we'll bring it over here to the pigs because we have moved these guys around a little bit. Senor is now in his own pen because I don't know what happened. I think more than likely either he was getting frisky or somebody was fighting over food. But with the breed he is, he's got six inch daggers on his face. So he put a nice, nice little hole in, um, our girl Tally over there. So now my boy is in by himself. We tossed in a mulch bale for him for him to play around with because he was getting a little bored in here. So, but he's happy as can be. So we'll be moving him to another paddock at some point. Once, as soon as I get it built, um, never ending. Um, and then hopefully at some point this week, I'll be coming out here and tearing out all these T-posts and getting the rest of this fence build done. This is going to be, it's gonna be a couple week process, but we're gonna get it done. Um, we've got piglets coming July 1st. So I'm very excited to get them in here. Um, we're gonna be doing a similar setup to our other pig pen over there that has the entry and exit pen. So right there is a where I come in and out of this pasture. It's just with the electric fence hooks that click onto the loops so you can pop them on and off. Um, there will be a regular gate there with, I would say probably a 12 by 15 pen, like probably hard, um, hard sided penned in area where I can put the piglets in, get them trained on electric and um, when it's time to move them in and out of this pasture instead of trying to get them from all of this into a trailer i'll have to get them from all of this into that pen which will be super easy because all i'll have to do is leave the gate open and feed them in there for a couple days a week or for a couple days before we need to move them um it's all about making life easier for sure so Again, we got a plenty of videos coming up on that. It's been a light week. I've been running around doing a bunch of stuff where I haven't been able to put the camera on. So I wanted to get something out. Um, more than likely, I will be doing a knife sharpening video this weekend, and we'll get that out to you guys. And I, on Saturday at 8 p.m. Central, I'll be having Aaron from Two Twins, Two Chicks Homestead. Sorry, Aaron on and we're going to be talking about different rabbit breeds i'm probably we're probably just going to loop all of the rabbit breeds together and talk about all of them just because there's it's hard to fill a half hour with every like a single rabbit breed so we're probably just going to go through the whole thing talk about our experience with raising them why we raise them this that and the other and probably just have a good conversation so if you guys want to tune in for that like i said is going to be going live on youtube at eight p.m.s uh eastern standard time so other than that um i hope you guys are enjoying the videos please like subscribe share if anyone's doing homesteading butchering anything like that suggest the videos um and yeah keep coming back all right guys have a good one